What's up, everybody? I'm Mitchell Price, and welcome back for another week of Sportsline. As March comes to a close, we have reached the end of an exciting spring football camp. And what better way to cap it off than with the biggest pro day in BYU's history? The players met with NFL team representatives and performed in front of 31 of the 32 teams. The group began the workout with official measurements and then went on to the bench press before transitioning to the vertical and broad jumps. The workout then moved to the 40-yard dash, three-cone drill, 20-yard shuttle, and ended with position drills. Kairos Tonga had 35 reps on bench press, which compared to last year's numbers would have him a third overall. Kavika Fanua and Alevi Hifo would both jump 39 and a half inches, while Brady Christensen would jump 34 inches. In the broad jump, Christensen recorded what would be the second best mark by any offensive tackle in NFL Combine history, with a leap of 10 feet 4 inches. Hifo continued to showcase his athletic ability, jumping a 10-7. It looked like Micah Simon was going to steal the fastest 40 time of the day with his very impressive 4-3-4 until Chris Wilcox clocked a blazing 4-3-1. Zach was able to light up the field with an impressive pro day, making the case that he can make all the throws from every angle. Wilson was able to show off his arm strength, accuracy, and mobility with this ridiculous throw. The NFL Draft will be held Thursday through Saturday, April 29th to May 1st. BYU Women's Volleyball is your 2021 Spring Semester Champions for 7th time in 10 years. This win closes BYU's regular season with a 16-1 record and a great chance for a high seed going into this year's NCAA Tournament. Typically, women's volleyball is played in the fall semester, but due to COVID, the WCC delayed all of its fall sports and delayed the season. BYU has gone to this tournament 8 consecutive years in a row, advancing to at least the second round since 2014. It's not just the women thriving on the volleyball court, it's the men too. As BYU defeats USC, they move to 15-2 on the season, snapping USC's three-game winning streak. This is 10 in a row for the squad, and both teams will be playing again tonight at 7 p.m. That's all we have for today. As always, I'm Mitchell Price. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week, same place, same time.